Welcome into your past, your present and your future reading. We are going to be looking at what has happened to you in the past, what is currently going on in your current energy. It is important to do this so that you know if this reading is your reading. You will know if the past resonates with you and the current, en or the current energy also resonates with you. The chances are that the future energy that I'm going to be reading about is also in alignment with what is coming in for you as well. So let us begin by calling in your spiritual team so that they can help and guide us in this reading. We are going to ask them to um, show us clearly what we need to see. While we are reading the singing bowl, I would just ask you to close your eyes and also just feel the energy and the sound of the singing bowl so that it can also help to tune you into this reading so you can get those messages you're meant to receive. Spirit guides for Taurus, please come into my spirit room. Guide me in this reading and show me clearly what it is that I need to see. Speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. For the highest good for everybody who is watching. Taurus, this is for you. It is timeless. So whenever you do get this reading, you are meant to receive it. We are going to start out by looking at the past energy. So many cards fell down. What has happened in your past year? Let's start out and find out for you what is going on for you at this moment in time. And please do remember this is also for rising, for moon and for Venus as well. So let's get in here and see what is going on with you, Taurus. Past energy. Ooh, Taurus, this is interesting. You've got precognition, psychic ability, and future vision. So you, in the past year, either had something, a vibe, a vibe come over you, where you were kind of like saying, okay, I've got a feeling that something is either off here, or that something is either on, you know what I mean? And um, you could have been looking into your long-term future. Yeah. It's almost like you were trusting your intuition or you got a vibe about a situation and you were kind of like going, mm, I think this is what's going on here. Um, there's something definitely like, like guidance that you received or a vibe that you received about something. It can also be you looking into, say, a future where you need to make a decision. And even though you didn't really know what that outcome is, would be if you maybe walked a certain path or did something a certain way um, or changed something as well. But you kind of like felt you were doing the right thing. It's almost like I feel like this is what I'm meant to be doing. So that's a real um, uh, like, like, how can I put it? It's like really trusting in the future, but you're actually trusting the vibration and the vibe that you're getting your intuition here. So let's get in and have a look and see what happened here. What is this all about? Um, what situation were you trusting? Remember, this can be something positive or negative. It just depends what the vibe was all about. So let's have a look and see. The Eight of Cups, holy moly, okay. And the Chariot in the reverse position. So I feel like you left something here. I feel like you changed your direction um, from where you were going. The Chariot card, which is Cancer, showing up here is a direction that you were going in. In the reverse position, it's almost like I stopped where I was going. And I went in a new direction because that you can actually see it with the Eight of Cups coming in here. And it shows to me that you made a maybe almost instantaneous decision or like an overnight decision, a moment's decision where you were kind of going, no, I'm, I'm, I'm moving, I'm changing direction. It was almost like you got this feeling like if I keep moving in this direction, something really bad is going to happen. So I need to pull myself out of the situation very, very quickly. Um, I feel like it's very fast, very uh, speedy decision that you made. Just like got the vibe and you were like, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm changing my mind. You know what I mean? So let's get in here and get some clarifiers out for you and go a little bit deeper. When you do this and you get that feeling and something just says to you, nope, don't do it. Nope, pull out of it. You need to listen. That is there for a reason. The reason that is either your spirit guides, your higher self, God itself, okay, that is coming in here and saying, no, that card fell on top of the chariot, so I'm going to leave it there, okay. Um, yeah, nine of pentacles. 
okay reverse position the way it fell i feel like you're kind of um looking at either your stability or your stability in a situation and i kind of feel like there could be an energy of you getting taken advantage of here the nine of pentacles means stability first of all she feels very safe she feels very independent male or female energy she is earning enough money um she has got a long-term stable future there's your nine of pentacles nine of pentacles reverse position can even mean you're giving a lot of what you have to something else but you're not receiving it back and something or something happened here that made you feel like you were not safe in a situation um <coughs> it's almost like you're going whoa i think if i continue on this path i am going to be the loser over here and something is going to go wrong in my life and i'm not going to be okay all right so you do, definitely did trust your intuition let's see what comes up with the eight of cups here wisdom hello yes you did have some kind of precognition you got taurus you in your reading and literally you did have some kind of like it was like you were being saved from something here you were being saved whatever happened here wisdom has come in sometimes the hierophant can be seen as a spiritual leader something you being the spiritual leader wisdom from uh events that you've been through now you've gained wisdom from different things but it can also be attached to your own spirit guides angels god all these kinds of energies and i do feel like you were being guided here you were being protected I feel like you were being completely protected here. And whatever has happened there, let me tell you, it's almost like you dodged a bullet. You know what I mean? It's like you saved yourself. Okay. Congratulations, Taurus. Holy moly. Never doubt it again. Never doubt the feeling. Never doubt anything again. Trust it 100% fully. Okay. The card that I've seen, and they say take both. So I'm holding two cards out. We've already got the future one out as well. Let's look at present energy. <coughs> Excuse me present energy earth magic fearlessness removing obstacles yes you have gained some kind of serious confidence here i feel like when you you walked away from whatever this is you've definitely gained confidence i feel like you even saw later that oh wow i really did save myself here i really did the right thing i really have not made a mistake i feel like you still moving towards something and it's almost like a feeling i'm telling you i feel like this feeling of confidence where you feel like you know now what to do you know how to move forward and it's like you're going okay so i know what's right i know what's wrong you do definitely do know that because you've got the hierophant rocking up here you definitely do i feel like you're definitely moving in the right direction okay earth magic is all about pentacles energy it's about stability it's about your practical reality on this planet okay um your career your everyday life your home um your bank your finances in your bank all those kinds of things your life in general fearlessness removing obstacles you are so determined this kind of does remind me of the say it kind of reminds me that you change direction it's almost like you were heading in this direction you were like nope now you're heading in a new direction here and i feel like you know that you're definitely on the right track maybe you still question because you might not be seeing um the outcome or where you want to be with that earth magic meaning seeing your life exactly in the place you want it to be practically um in reality um so you're definitely sure you're heading towards the right thing here there could be problems as well that you're facing as you're trying to get your life to be where you want it to be which is normal i think if there's no problems it's not your direction there's always got to be something that you need to overcome because you need to change who you are on this journey and to become somebody who lives in a life that is like over there and you're over here it's not the life that needs to change it is you that needs to change um <coughs> because currently right now everything that you currently see around you every experience every you know a thing that you're going through everything that you can physically even see in your reality um is created from the person that you currently are so you cannot change anything unless the person you currently are changes and the way that you change is by facing and removing obstacles is by solving problems because every time you solve a problem or you face something you have not done before you do change in some kind of way so you are being adjusted here to get yourself to that life that you want to be in 
So now you understand when you see a problem, don't look at it like a barrier or an obstacle preventing you from getting there. Look at it as if it's saying, oh, this is what you need to do to get yourself there. And then you will face that problem in a very different way with determination, knowing that I have to go through this. It's almost like I've got to go through this initiation so that I can level up. Okay, you're in your energy, a page of cups. Love it so much. Right now, this is in your present energy. Moving forward, you know. You know you are following your heart here. Whatever this is, whatever goal you're working on, whatever dream you're trying to bring into reality about who you are in this world, you need to keep following your heart. You are going to level up. And you were just talking about, you know, you need to level up. The guy is sitting here and then he's just raising up into the air. All you see is his feet going. He's leveling up. You are walking a fated path. You are on the path of your destiny and where you are meant to be going. This is excellent, excellent energy. Let's see, you're definitely on the right path. So if you're sitting here going, I don't know, I doubt, you know, what if I'm on the wrong path? What if this is not meant for me? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so, oh my God. Look at this. I'm taking the cards that I've just seen. Okay, there's a card that's failure as well. I'm going to kind of leave it and take it last. Yes, you are. Wheel of Fortune just fell out twice in your reading. It just flew. Yes, you are on the right path. This is your destiny. This is where you're meant to go. And if you keep following your heart, you've got Libra in your reading, you will definitely change your life. Look at the stress that's coming in here. There's going to be an ending to your old life and a rebirth into a new one. This is fated for you. I want to take out this card. Keep going forward. Advice. Keep going forward. Look at this. You literally got the page of caps and you got the knight of caps. Follow your heart and take action towards what you're going for here. Take action towards what you know is meant for you. This is such a good reading. Oh my goodness. The card that fell out earlier. <clears throat> Twin flames. Interesting soul partner and eternal connection this could be you even meeting somebody here in the future if you are single um i do without a doubt believe you're meeting a soulmate here on your journey sometimes we think to ourselves we're working on a goal and a dream especially when you're single and you want to create this life for yourself and you're going i want to own a business i want to work overseas um i want to get a promotion and this drive and this pull, because you remember we do have a knight and a page of cups, okay? This drive and this pull forward, not for everybody, but I'll explain to you what it means if it's not about relationship. <coughs> it's, it's really actually taking you to a place and a time where you're really going to meet the person that you're supposed to meet. And you can't meet that person in the current life that you are in. You have to be somewhere else to meet them. So you're being pulled not only for success and for... Um, for your goal and your dream, but also to meet the person you're supposed to meet because they're there or they also come in there where you're both going to meet. If this is not about love for you, this is about what you are meant to be doing, your soul's purpose. We are looking at eternal connection, soul partner. Sometimes we are the soul partner, things like the lover's card or the two of cups or this kind of energy. It not only means to... Um, <coughs> another person it can also mean your purpose your reason for being the path that you're meant to walk on what is your twin flame with regards to your purpose your reason um your life purpose and this is very very strong for a lot of you guys because we've got this wheel of fortune rocking up here twice in your reading so there's definitely something you are meant to to be doing and I feel like you are moving towards this you might have come through a lot of pain to get here but you're very determined to succeed okay so let's see what else comes up here the two of cups oh my god I just mentioned the two of cups here for a lot of you guys this can be somebody coming in here for you this is your person that you are moving towards here this is your person okay for others of you it is truly what you are meant to be doing. You came here with a soul's calling and you are making it reality. You're going to walk this path. Let's see what else comes up here. Yeah, I'm so curious. Seven of Wands, you will be just 
fine. And I did pick up that there was a lot of like kind of energies with regards to a lot of events that you've been through, a lot of things that you had to experience, but you've been fine all along. You've been handling this all along. And I think with the Seven of Wands showing up here, it's all this incoming sort of things that you've had to deal with in your life. You've remained truly always you, no matter what. You've stayed in this energy where <clears throat> I am always me. I will always keep my focus. Sometimes the Seven of Wands, especially in this deck, she kind of reminds me of the Queen of Wands energy, really always looking towards her best existence, her best life. And that shows up here with you as well. I feel like no matter what has happened, no matter what you've been through, you've kept your focus on where it is you want to go. So let's get in here and have a look and see. With this Two of Cups energy, or what have we got? Let's see the alignment. I'm so curious to see what aligns with the Two of Cups energy here. Let's see, clarification, the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to the life that you're meant to be in. One way or the other, if this is a relationship, you're going to be married to this person or you're going to live with this person, depending if you value marriage or not, it's up to you. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is a long-term situation and it is something very strong. If it's a relationship, wow, that's your person, okay? And you'll live a very good life with them. You'll be able to build your castle with this person. And if this is like your path, your dream, your soul's calling. It is taking you to a lot of money. There is wealth here. If you're building a business, um, you're working on your career in some kind of way, your life, you get it to the Ten of Pentacles. That is a lot of financial stability coming in there. Um, with the Seven of Wands, it's coming very quick. Handle everything that comes towards you. Even here, you see I'm removing obstacles. Keep moving in this energy. You are absolutely doing the right thing here. You're behaving in the right way. You've got your focus set the way it's meant to be. No matter what comes towards you, you will handle it. And this situation where you see where you're meant to be, where you start to step into that reality of where you're trying to go here with this earth magic, it is here. It is coming in so quickly. So really keep your focus and drive so on point at this moment. Don't even step away from it. Focus on what it is you're trying to create for yourself here because let me tell you, it is knocking on your door. There we go. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here. I hope this helps and guides you. I will see you in your next reading.